Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft Series, episode 173. And today we are starting things off in the very mob infested Ibishi zone of the Hermitcraft server. Yeah, I, I, I said throughout the entire episode that I was going to do some work lighting it up and by the look of things, I totally forgot. To be fair, that means that it's a very accurate representation of all of my previous bases because they were famous for actually being full of mobs at all times because they were never lit up so I suppose that's something to go off. But anyway, in today's Hermitcraft episode, we're not actually going to be working in that area there. Instead, we are actually going to be working in this zone. Now, I was thinking, okay, because obviously we've been flying around the base, we've been fixing things up, we've been getting everything finished, we've been rounding up a whole bunch of projects, and then recently we started off a whole new project, but that's a different story. I suddenly thought to myself, we have got a part of my base that I have not touched since well, probably episode 10 when we got here and placed a nether portal and then me and Exuma kind of popped over and created this farm which by the look of things is a little bit broken so we'll have to fix that up but we kind of, we worked on it and then we've just completely, completely left it behind so in today's episode what I want to do is kind of turn this into a bit of a tropical paradise so I guess the first thing that we should do is actually clean up this little place. So I, I've taken out all of the trees, I've gotten rid of all the stuff that was out the front there, and now I'm going to do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of terraforming just to make it look a little bit better. Now I know I probably shouldn't due to the fact that we're meant to have a passive mob farm, but I can't help but notice that the passive mob farm hasn't worked for 100 episodes. We've had this thing for 100 episodes now, and it has produced less than five stacks of anything in particular, so I think I'm actually going to use grass for our island. So I've spent quite a bit of time replacing all the sand with grass, and now we're going to find out if it looks any better. Whew, uh, that is not... Okay, so it looks good. It definitely needs a lot of work. I mean, obviously we're, we're gonna build things on it, so that's gonna help out. But, yeah, it needs it needs quite some serious refinement. I think the beaches... I think the beaches need to be a little bit bigger. And just kind of more varied. It looks very, very hand-built at this point in time. Very hand-built. I would class that as fully terraformed up. So, all of... Oh, actually, now that I'm looking, this is a bit of a hard line. So, we're going to have to add in a little bit of grass into this sand here. Maybe just, you know, just drop some of that in a little bit like that. Maybe even place a few blocks like this because that was, yeah, that was like one solid line of grass. But for the most part, I would say that this is looking pretty good. It's actually looking better than it did when it was 100% sand. So, now we're going to start adding in some structures and start doing a little bit of the pretty stuff, I guess you could say. Now, what I really want to do is I want to make some custom trees, which is something that I've never really done before, but I feel like this is a tropical island and we need ourselves some palm trees. And to do that, we're going to need some jungle wood, which by the look of things, we really don't have any of. Do we not even have any? I swear we were using loads of jungle wood just the other day. Okay, <laughs> we've got 11 blocks. I suppose that kind of does give us enough. Oh, okay, we've got a little bit more. 16 blocks in total. What I'll do is I'll build up a palm tree and I'll see if it looks good. And then if it does, we can then use that as inspiration and take that forward to more palm trees. One thing that we also don't have at this point in time is jungle leaves. So for now, I'm going to use oak leaves. And then if that looks good, we'll keep using oak leaves. If it doesn't, then we'll try out some jungle leaves when we collect up more jungle wood from the jungle biome. That was a bit of a jumbly sentence. So I built this thing in the dark, I've just slept through the night, and now we're going to see it in daylight for the very first time. So I've forgotten exactly where it even is, but there, there it is from a distance. And you know what? <laughs> is that any good? Is it any good? I mean, I see, I, I don't know. I think that looks like a pretty good palm tree. Maybe we need another jungle wood block here. Yeah, so it's got a little bit more support down at the bottom there. I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> I don't think that looks bad at all. Let's see what it looks like from somewhere on top of the base. Let's see what let's see what it looks like from a distance. I think that looks pretty cool. If we got a few of those dotted around. Yeah, that that would definitely start to look like a tropical island. <laughs> so if we start getting some different designs in, some varying heights and things like that. 
Oh, that's spot on. One thing that I did notice with a lot of the designs online is that all of them use cocoa beans as coconuts up at the top. So that's definitely a detail that I'm going to be adding in. So things that I need to collect is jungle wood. We don't need to worry about leaves because those leaves look pretty good. Uh, except yeah, jungle leaves might look better. So we'll take a look at that. And then also cocoa beans, NHO jungle, let's go. Man, I had forgotten how cool B00's base was. This is a wicked, wicked spot. Dude. Oh, the guy so knows how to build, doesn't he? Annoyingly though, because I'm a total spoon, I didn't actually bring any shears with me, so I'm gonna have to pick up these leaves the slow way. Now that we're back over at the base, how are things looking with a few extra palm trees? Um... I mean, it's so difficult to tell because this place looks so empty at this point in time, but I'm, I'm trying my best to vary up the designs a little bit, so all of them are a tiny bit different. And I, I do think it looks good. Yeah, because just picture this, okay? You're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit here. We're gonna have leaves kind of flowing through in the center here, and it's all going to look very nice and overgrown. And then maybe we're gonna have some like lawn chairs or well, those, those sun lounges that you can have. Yeah, all that sort of thing is going to start being added in. But for now, we're just trying to get like the basics in place. And I'd say we're off to a potentially good start. Oh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a little a pond in here. Yeah, a little pond with sugar cane and things. Yes, okay, that's a good idea. Oh, now that I'm flying in, having slept through the night, this is... <laughs> oh, I, I cannot wait to get this fully covered up and then got our little kind of house up at the top here. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. So I thought it'd be a good idea before I start placing on all of the leaves and just doing full individual trees, so I'll actually go around and place in all of the locks so that we know where all of the trees are going to go and we can do things quickly, rearrange things if needs be, and just get a feel for the entire environment. And I have to say, yeah, I'm really, really liking it. So we've got a pond in the middle, that's all been done. I'm going to add in the sugar cane around the outside there. Then in this spot right here, what I thought we'd do is kind of place in some gravel and then build something. I'm either between building my camper van, my, my VW T2 camper van, or constructing some form of boat. I have to say, the boat makes much more sense considering there's not many roads on this island, but the camper van is a cooler idea. So I'll be doing some thinking about that throughout the episode. But then up at the top here, you can also see that I've mapped out roughly where my house is going to be and the dimensions of it. Now, I do kind of want a balcony, so this is gonna be a real, real small house. In fact, I might actually extend it just a tiny bit because otherwise, yeah, we're, we're gonna be really lacking space there. But this is where the house is going to be. So we're going to be overlooking the passive mob farm and all of this stuff going on. I think it looks really, really good. And obviously if you view it from out over here, it looks even better. Now that we actually have all of those shapes going on, like that has really, really brought the island to life. And if we're flying around the base, which we often do, it actually looks like something that we care about and not just a random piece of sand. I can't believe it's taken me so long to do this. I wish I could work out a faster way of doing this. I mean, there's got to be an easier way than placing in the other leaves. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to do some form of scaffolding, but yeah, I have to do that. And then on this one, two blocks out like that, and now we can actually place in the leaf. This is the fastest way that I've worked out so far but it still seems painfully inefficient. I mean, look at this. Just look at it. But despite my inefficiency, things are kind of speeding up a little bit. I think I'm getting myself a bit of a quicker technique. I would say that I've got the small trees down to about a minute and a half to do all of the leaves, and then the bigger ones, maybe two minutes, three minutes if it's a really big tree and I have to do lots of scaffolding, and it's overhanging the water because those ones are always a pain in the backside. But as you can see, things are coming together really, really nicely. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five trees left, so around about 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes, they are all over the water, but, oh, look at that, <laughs> it's like my own little tropical island, I'm loving it. Having said all that, I have now completely lost my rhythm, I, I don't know what's going wrong with me, but I don't seem to be able to construct a tree within about 10 minutes. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, my first ever time using custom trees in Minecraft, all of them have been constructed. And I'm, I'm really, really happy with the end result. I do agree with you. Everyone was telling me down in the comment section when I planted all the trees in the town that they're ugly, I should have done custom trees. And you know what, I think you might be right because look how much cooler that looks. Yes! 
That is brilliant. Oh, I to, I'm in love. Is this going to become, is this another one of those things that's going to become a, a, my favorite spot on the Hermitcraft server? <laughs> my list of favorite spots on the Hermitcraft server is going to be about 10 pages long by the end of the season. But, okay, well, right, so we've got the trees done. I'm going to stop gloating about those. Now it's time to actually get all of the other floor decoration in. So I guess we kind of need some, some bushes popping up. I, I guess I'll use up the rest of my jungle leaves to kind of create a slightly more jungly vibe down on the floor here. Right, that's all of those gone. That's every single jungle leaf that I had. Uh, I think there's a chance that these just on their own, maybe maybe isn't quite enough. I think maybe there's a chance that we need to get the bone meal in as well. From a distance though, it does look much better. There's there's a lot more going on. You can tell that we have some more jungly vibes there. So that's good. It is working, it is working. It just needs to be used in partnership with the bone meal. Oh, just that angle. That is the angle. Cool. I think this might have been the detail that we were missing. I think this 100%. When in doubt, place in a bunch of bone meal. Because this is giving, oh, it's giving the proper, oh, it's giving off good vibes in terms of just a, like, a, just a tropical island. That looks like a tropical island. And that's crazy considering, so what biome are we actually in right now? So we are on a beach. Now, on beach biomes, as you can see, which is a bit strange, I would have thought that the colors of a beach biome would be considerably more vibrant, but they're not. We kind of have these just I guess it's just desaturated greens and things. It's quite difficult to get that bright, vibrant kind of tropical beach vibe. But I feel like we've done it to a certain extent. These trees are definitely helping. The overgrownness is definitely helping us out. I feel like once we get some sugarcane added in, in the center here, that will also give us some color, which we can work with. And then up at the top here is gonna be my tropical paradise home. All right, finishing touches now. I can't believe I didn't look at it from above. I just have, and yeah, I'm even happy with it. Even happier with it. I got, I'm, I'm so chuffed. I'm so glad we decided to do this project because it has actually made a huge, huge difference to our base. Having that there, look, that is, how did I never work on this island? This is a, it's basically inside my base. How did we leave that untouched? I don't understand. <laughs> it's been a while, but I, I, I feel like that's necessary. And you know, I mean, that deserves another spoon in of itself. Now, the big question here is, how do we now create a nice looking shack? How do we create a cool looking area here? Uh, okay, so I want this to be a balcony. So we wanna have a balcony here. And then I guess, I mean, we'll have jungle wood going up like this. And maybe jungle wood on all of the corners. I mean, it doesn't have to be that big, it just, I need to create something that kind of looks like it could be on this island. And that's that's tricky. That is a style of building that I have 100% never touched. Oh, and just as a total side note, new film just released on the filming channel. Link will be down in the description if you do want to check it out. I think it's quite cool. That's the start. The start is, is looking okay. So we, we've got wood, we've got wooden planks, and then I've mixed it in with some jungle wood. Now, I wasn't actually planning on doing that, but I accidentally placed a piece of jungle wood when I was placing in my oak wood, and I liked the way that it looked. So I thought we'd mix it in. Now, how, how is that feeling in terms of, I really want to keep those tropical, tropical feelings going. Uh, it kind of has them. Kind of. Oh, this is tough. This, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is really, really difficult. This may well be one of the messiest inventories I've had in a little while. I mean, they, see, I've always said this. Okay, I've always said that. I know that we've added in shulker boxes into the game, and that's fantastic. But here's the deal: there have been hundreds of items added into Minecraft since they created the inventory system. I kind of think that it might be time to actually create a, a, a new, maybe slightly bigger inventory because when this was created, okay, there was about 12 items in Minecraft that you could actually have in your inventory at once. Now look how many just single items I have. It's mental. Oh, I've added in spruce wood now. Does that look any good? Ah, oh my word. I struggle so much. I struggle so much with block palettes. 
I seriously, I can't even, I can't even figure this one out. In theory, this could be the thing that actually finishes it. So I've, I've placed in a roof. Once again, I'm using spruce wood, just because I sometimes I feel like we need some variety, but I just, I don't know how well it goes with the jungle wood. I guess we're about to find out. I suppose this is the main thing. Uh, if we just take off and land over here, first off, we'll work out how it looks from a distance. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, this place is definitely mob infested. That isn't bad. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep real quick. Oh my god, now there's one in here. Seriously, I can't get a good night's sleep without mobs being around. What? How did it even... Sp How did it even spawn? For a second there, I wondered if he had launched himself outwards, <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. Anyway, aside from that, let's see how this thing looks in the daylight. Once again, this is promising. That actually looks... Yeah, that looks really, really good. <laughs> that looks super, super cool. And then when we come in... I mean, it just looks jungly. That's the only way that I would describe how it actually looks and I suppose so if we were okay so that has to be I guess that has to be that color so unless we did something like this where it kind of comes down like that and then this could be there oh no 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 okay so we're gonna punch this back and then I suppose we'll extend up the roof a little bit so that it matches up. Yeah, so then we can go across like that. I think that's probably... Yeah, that's definitely our better option. Now, don't get me wrong. I am well aware that this build is not going to win any awards for beauty. I definitely don't think it's one of the best builds I've ever done. But considering this is my first time building in this style, has it worked? I think it has. I think it might have done. Let's just quickly get our door in. That's one thing that I do need to do. And that will kind of finish off everything. I've gone for a jungle door because they have they have that sort of look. Maybe some torches, maybe a few details on the front. No, you know what? It, it actually, it fits in. It works, yeah. I'm sorry for sounding so lost. I, I genuinely have no idea how to build in this way. It's been so long since I've even built with jungle blocks, let alone trying to build in the style. So all there is for us to do now is get ourselves a bed and then we'll be off. So what color should we go for? I don't think lime green. Um, what? I don't think orange. I'm so tempted to just go for the regular red. Let's see, do we have any red wool? No, we don't even have any red wool. Do we have any red dye? This is ridiculous. All we have to do now is get ourselves a bed and then we'll be sorted. Now, I think in terms of bed colours, it would be a good idea to go for something like blue. So let's see. If we make ourselves some white wool and then make ourselves some light blue wool, then make ourselves a light blue bed, which we now have two beds. I think this is the colour that will look good because the build is kind of orangey. And orange and blue, they, they sort of go against one another. So I guess that, that works out from like a color science point of view. Look at me sounding all technical. And that, my friends, is that. I've placed in a few chests and also some crafting benches and things just to make the place feel a little bit more homely. And I have to say, it does. It really does feel homely. So obviously we've got we've got the ship over there. That's underwater. But the issue with the ship is, is that every single time I want to go to sleep, it's quite annoying because obviously you have to go underwater and then to leave the ship, you have to do that thing where you try and take off in the water. You know, this old thing. That thing. And then you can take off. And that's frustrating, whereas taking off from the ground is considerably easier. So I thought I would get myself another sleeping place, another little house that I can go to at night so that I can sleep through. And I'm I'm so over the moon with this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, we have added in a massive detail to the base there. We've actually been adding quite a lot of big stuff recently. Obviously, we've got the Ibishi zone over there. We've got this new thing, which this has just... It's its brought the whole base together. It seriously has. Just filling in that little gap. I am going to get rid of that island at some point. I feel like just having this one 
that that's good enough for me. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode on the Hermitcraft server. I actually have no idea how long this episode is going to be. I haven't checked once throughout, <laughs> so I apologize if it's a bit of a short one. Um, but anyway, if you have enjoyed, please feel free to that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Oh, and I haven't done this for a little while. New film on the Filming Channel. Link will be on the end screen. You should check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It might inspire one or two of them.